Cole, thank you very much. It definitely looks better out there than it did even at the top of the hour yes. when we started. The smoke has lessened significantly. But again, you were telling us how much the, the wind hasn't ended yet. No, it has not at all. Right now, we're catching a little bit of a lull, but that is exactly how the remainder of the evening is going to go. We're going to get those strong bouts of wind. Wind will pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Stay strong for 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes with those gusts, and then it'll go back down. You'll think we're through it, but we're not. Then we're going to build it back in. For that reason, we have our wind advisories through 8 p.m., but Whitney, I don't think the wind's done after 8. Okay, well, I guess we've got to keep getting ready then. Yeah, let's walk you through it because it is quite interesting the way this all goes. Remember I said I've been working on a graphic? Well, here it is. You can see the Pioneer Fire up near Chelan from space. You can even see the Grove Fire near Spokane. It's right there. You can see that one bright little pixel, and that is how strong or hot these fires are burning. They're hot enough that we can see them from a satellite over the top of us. It's kind of incredible if you think about it that way. Wind's still blowing out of the west when you move up. You move down to the ground. West-southwest at 32 miles per hour. So we hit that peak about 15 to 20 minutes ago. We're going to come back down, up, down, up, down. That's just the way wind works. We will see those gusts get stronger. We are not through the strongest gusts yet. I don't think those are going to happen for another little bit. But when it comes to the fire, you can see in the most recent radar scans, the past two radar scans, so these are going out every five minutes, past couple, you're not quite getting that same level of smoke up in the atmosphere. So things are slowly improving. Doesn't mean they're done, doesn't mean wind's done, doesn't mean it's not going to get worse. But in the past couple of scans, we've seen a slight improvement in some of the smoke from the fire. That also has no direct meaning of what's going on in the fire. Just because we're not seeing as much smoke in the air doesn't mean the fire isn't spreading or burning as vigorously or just not hitting things that are putting up smoke. Doesn't mean things are done. Air quality sits at moderate, so it has deteriorated, not quite to the unhealthy for sensitive groups. You're probably feeling a little irritation. I am in my nose. That's just where we are when our air quality hits that moderate range. We're going to keep a close eye on it. Not quite unhealthy for sensitive groups yet. The wind is expected to stay strong through 8 p.m. and then eventually start to ebb. The ebb doesn't happen until after midnight when we finally start to calm down. Biggest concern is the fire danger out in central Washington, maybe a little bit of blowing dust and possibly a couple down tree limbs like what we saw out of last week's wind. That's about where we are. So far, strongest gust at airport, 45 miles per hour, 47 out in Wenatchee and up near 40 across much of the inland northwest. That's where we stay for the remainder of the day. Overnight, things do start to calm down. We will watch our wind gusts drop to about 10 to 15. Tomorrow and Thursday, they stay at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Friday, we're back in it with yet another cold front, yet another round of wind, and likely another round of elevated fire concern because there's no rain in the forecast. 74 and sunny tomorrow, mostly sunny and 80 on Thursday. Windy Friday, maybe an isolated storm on Saturday. Another chance arrives Monday.